Hey Shalom, first off I want to start off by saying all praises to honor and glory to Yahweh by Shema and Shai, by Shema Kakadash, just all praises to the world because God is true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, by Shema in the name of Yahweh Shai being the name of the only begotten Son. I also want to say the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the local light, preaching and swearing the truth and sincerity, on the brother Tazabada, Great Millstone, Arizona, Kent, Lord Will, would another day to edify. And uh, you see the image on the screen, right? You got Jake with the crown in the goodly apparel, and Esau in the heathen in chains, beat up in a low estate, and this is the future, right? Yeah, the average everyday person will look at this picture and, and, and be like, oh, well, that'll never happen. But at the end of the day, the Lord promised certain things in the scriptures, and you heathen, are not going to deliver yourselves from that punishment. Because here it is. Let the scriptures say. Let's, let me get in. Got to build into it. Yeah, here it is. Uh, Isaiah 51 and 17, it says, Awake, awake, stand up, O Jerusalem, which has drunk at the hand of Yahweh, at the hand of Yahweh, the cup of his fury. Thou hast drinking the dregs of the cup and, and, and of trembling and wrung them out. You see? Jake has drinking of that cup, that, that fury of the Lord. And when you go further, this is, um, Jeremiah 49 and 12, it says, Thus say Yahweh, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup, have assuredly drunken. And if thou, he that shall altogether go unpunished, thou shalt not go unpunished, uh, but thou shalt surely drink of it. Meaning what? All these heathen, chiefly Esau, Edom. Right? You gotta acknowledge that. Hey, Jake, we drunk of the fury of the Lord. Look at the history of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You got Judah, Benjamin, Levi that, that was shipped over here and throughout the world, right? In the hardest bondage that you can imagine. You got Gath that had the trail of tears, all the broken trees, smallpox blankets, the, the, pil the so-called pilgrims coming over, right? You got the Native Americans that had with the Spanish Inquisition. Not the Native Americans, but the, the, the so-called Latinos, right? Going back to the Mayans and their respective tribes who had what the Spanish Inquisition, right? Devastation of the, the that book, Devastation of the Indies, right? We've drunk of the trembling of the Lord. We've drunk of the wrath of the Heavenly Father, right? So if we did that, you devils have will not... Escape that judgment. This is verse 13. Uh, For I have sworn by myself, say Yahweh, that Basra shall be become a desolation, a reproach, a waste, and a curse. And all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste. Right? The Lord promises every city thereof is going to be a perpetual waste, meaning a destroyed land. You're never going to be able to dwell in it again. The scripture talk about a beast from a destruction. Right? And on the back of that destruction of the heathen, right, you're going to have Jake in a good case. And all you heathen, and chiefly you Edomites, messed up, right? And and they messed up and it looked like they put a Judite there, but yeah, it could just be a tear. So they the fold to look at it. But you Edomites, oh, you, you, you will go into captivity. One of the same ones you hate so much. So uh, second there's is 15. In 56 it says, like as thou has done 
unto my chosen, say Yahweh. Even so shall the Most High do unto thee, and, and, and shall deliver thee into mischief. Right? As you done to the Lord's chosen, it's going to be done unto you. So, when we were put into those slave ships, our families broken up. They sent out through the four corners of the earth. Well, you devils. Right? Scriptures talk about how we'll sell your children. This is at Joel 3. Start of seven, it says, Behold, I will raise them out of the places where ye have sold them, talking about the Israelites, and will return your recompense upon your own head. And I will sell your sons and your daughters, talking about Esau, Edom, into the hand of the children of Judah. And that's what you look that's, That picture, that's what it is. Look, we happy. Y'all sad and looking depressed. Awfully stressed. Right? You look at that picture. These niggas is stressed. They don't know how to express it. It says, sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them uh, to the Sabians, to the people far off. For Yahweh has spoken it. So yeah, we're going to be shipping y'all left and right, just like you did to us. It's only righteous, it's only fair. Right? This is um, Psalms 149. Psalms 149 and um and four it says for Yahweh had taken pleasure for Yahweh taken pleasure in his people and he will beautify the meek with salvation let the saints be joyful in glory let them sing aloud upon their beds let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and the two edged sword in their hand to execute upon the heathen vengeance and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains. You bind a king with chain, it's, it's, that's not to cuddle. Nah, that's, that's, that's putting him in hardcore bondage. Just like in this image, bro. Look at him. Got locked up, they won't let you out. And we ain't never gonna let you devils free. Until it's time to burn you. Like the scriptures say. So back in the old Psalms 149 and 8, it says to bind the kings with chains and the nobles with fetters by iron. To execute, uh, execute upon them the judgment written, this honor had all his saints praise you, Yahweh. So that's an honor when we get the opportunity to put you devils down. And then it's Isaiah 14. And I'll start a little. It says, um, For Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. And set them in their own land, and the stranger shall be joined with them, and they shall it says, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, right? And the, and the sons of Israel shall be shall be so like and the sons of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they wore. We went, we, we went into captivity of the so-called white man who was Esau Edom. So-called Hamites, which are the so-called uh, Africans. So-called uh, Ishmaelites or Arabs. Right? We then went, in, went into captivity under all of them. So the Lord what? Said what? That... They shall have them captives whose captives they wore. And they shall rule over their oppressors. And, and this is what you're seeing. A rulership over our oppressors. Man. And we're going to have that power. To put you devils down. Right? That's a terrifying thing. The Lord said we shall do according to his anger. You, you, you heathen don't know full extent of which the Lord is about to do something in this earth. This is Amos 9. Let's 
says, uh, Behold, the days come, say Yahweh, uh, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper, and the 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 treader of grapes shall drop sweet salakia, and the treader treader of grapes him that sow a seed, and the mountain shall drop down sweet wine in all mountains, and in all the hills shall shall so like it shall melt. Tired of shit. So like you. And that's what the Lord is about to do, man. The Lord is going to cause the plowman, meaning the slave, to overtake the reaper. And who reaps all the benefits from a, from a from a field? The owner. That's the rich man. That great gulf is betwixt, and, and, and it's coming, man. The Lord willingness is out of find him and say, Call Allah, Yahweh, Shimei, Shai, Shimei, Kakadah, Shalom.